The page activity in Moodle enables a teacher to create a web page as an instructional resource using an HTML text editor. Text editors allow you to easily create and edit web pages without having to know any web programming code. Just like on any web page, your new page can display text, images, sound, video, and web links. To add a web page, click on Add an Activity or Resource. On the left hand pane, you see the activities and you see the options for resources. Select page. On the right hand pane, you see a description about what sorts of things can be displayed on the page, advantages for using the page, and options for how the page can be used. And there's also an option for more help. So help is always available. Select Add. And we've seen these options before. Enter a name. I'm going to call this welcome, enter description, welcome message, display the description on the course page so that the users or participants can see exactly what the web page is all about. Now it's a good idea to type up a draft of your page content in Microsoft Word or Notepad to be prepared to just cut and paste it into the text editor. You would select the Paste from Word icon and then it gives you the directions. Use the Control plus the V key on your keyboard to paste the text into the window. So in other words, you cannot use the drop down menu, the mouse and the drop down menu, like you would typically use in Microsoft Word. You must use the keyboard and select insert. Okay, so I have my basic information, but the text is not formatted. So I'm going to have to use this editor to format the text. And you can see that these tools, all of them, are very similar to what you would see in Microsoft Word, and it's just as user friendly. I'm going to select the title, and I want to make the font size a little larger. I want to make it 18 point and give it some color, a nice red color. And it's already bold, so that's fine. The name, make it a little bit larger, 14 point. Give it some color. It's already bold. Let's make it italics. And the office hours. Let's leave that the size that it is, but give it a little color. Um, let's try magenta. Okay. Let's scroll down. We have a course description. And then we have the information or the course syllabus listed. Well, I want this to link directly to the course syllabus and I already have the syllabus saved as a resource on my course page. So this link is actually to that resource saved on the Moodle server. So I'm going to select it. Normally, of course, it wouldn't be here. I just have it there for quick reference. And again, I'm using my keyboard keys for text. So I'm going to select Control C to copy that information. And then I'm going to select where I want the link to actually be on the words course syllabus. And I'm going to select the insert or edit link, which you see the icon is a chain link. Click on it. Enter the actual place it is linked to, the hyperlink, 
and control V to paste it. I already copied it. I want it to open in a new window, so I select that, and the title would be syllabus. And I select that because I used it before, and hit insert. Okay, so it's underlined now, so it looks like my link has been entered. I want to also show you how to add a video. Select video. And then select the insert Moodle media icon, which looks like a film strip. It says find or upload a sound video or applet. Select it. Choose the file. Save as. and upload the file. In the left hand corner here we can see the progress of the uploading and it takes however long it depends upon your internet connection. So it could be anywhere from less than a minute to a few minutes. Okay, there's going to be a preview in this window. In order to see the preview, it requires QuickTime. So the first time that you do this, it may ask you to install QuickTime in order to embed videos, and you would just follow the instructions and go ahead and install the QuickTime. Okay, this will be embedded directly into the web page and the participants or users can just click on it and view the file directly on the page. Select insert and it's inserted. Let's scroll on down and see if there are any more options that we need to be concerned with as far as appearance. I do want to display the page name and I do want to display the page description. As far as the module settings, I definitely want it to be visible. I'm not doing anything with groupings. Let's use the help feature. Just clicking on this question mark to see exactly what the ID number is all about and if we need to use that. It says setting an ID number provides a way for identifying the activity for grade calculation purposes. This is a web page, so we know we don't need that. I don't want to do anything with restricting access. So I can just go directly to Save and Display. Okay, and here's my welcome page. And as you scroll down, you can see that the video has been embedded into the page. And there's a link to the course syllabus. Let's click on it and it opens directly up for the students to use. When they're done with it, they can just X out of this page and they're back to where they started. Okay, let's go back to the course page because I wanna edit the page and show you a couple of more things about web pages. In order to edit the page, you click on this update icon. And I want to scroll down. In order to control the way the information is displayed on the page, you might want to include a table. width of 75% and update that. Okay. On this left column, I want to add an image. So I'm going to select the insert edit image icon. It says find or upload. 
Again, it allows me to choose from my computer and open. Save this file as logo and upload the file. The size of this image is pretty big, so I already know. Let me just enter a description here. A, B, C, building blocks. This will be visible for anybody that's just in a text browser or a browser that does not show images or someone that has a disability that cannot see the images. Okay, it's pretty big. I want to just going to make it quite a bit smaller, 100 pixels wide. Because constrained proportions is selected, it's just going to automatically adjust the other dimension. And insert. Okay, and there is my image. Okay, I wanted two columns specifically to be able to insert that image right next to my contact information. But down here, I don't need two columns. So I select the two cells and then I right click. And from the options, I want to merge these table cells. Scroll down. I want to take my content from below. And I want to copy it. So actually, I want to cut it. So I'm going to select Control X on the keyboard. And then put my cursor here, Control V to paste it. Okay, this information here I no longer need, so I want to delete it. And I really don't need this last row. So I'm going to delete that row. And then I had this content down below, and I want to delete it. Control X again. And I didn't get it all. Control X. Okay, and I want to go down and look at some of these other options as far as appearance. I've already gone through that, so I'm good. Save and display. Okay, and here's my page. As you scroll down, you can see you have an image next to your contact information, the course description, the course syllabus, and the embedded video. You can just check it out, make sure it meets your approval, keep playing around with it, tweak it, make it a little different. You might want to align this text a little closer to the image. Just play around with it using the HTML editor. And that's all there is to it.